Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Evolution. And in this episode of our season as Casey Mears and his number 13 Geico Chevrolet, we're going to be completing race 21 of 36, which is the Pennsylvania 400 at Pocono Raceway. Pocono is my favorite track in these NASCAR Heat games. There ain't no Rockingham, of course. If we came back, definitely would be. I've never won a Pocono in any of these NASCAR Heat games, though. It infuriates me. And this is our last chance because the NASCAR Heat series is over. At least our last chance for now. Because there's, there's like a NASCAR Heat, NASCAR Heat 2002, neither of which I think have Pocono. So yeah, th th this is our actual last chance here. Until career mode or some shit if I ever decide to do that. Uh, and last time it was just a big giant mess. You know, it was also a big giant mess. Indianapolis last episode finished 19th. I, I didn't even know if I, that was real life. I was actually playing the game or if it was just a nightmare. Also that weekend was New Hampshire. I could have won that, but the caution was coming out and I took a pit stop and then I got stuck on the wall somehow. I was up against the wall, no room, and then it just hooked me. It didn't make no sense. It again, the whole game don't make any sense. Okay, let's look, look at the standings. After last weekend, we are fourth. 22 points behind Jimmy Johnson, our points leader again. He's just two points ahead of Kevin Harvick, so if Kevin Harvick finishes in front of Jimmy Johnson, he's got it. And then five points behind Jimmy Johnson is Brad Keselowski, who's really climbed the ranks recently. Uh, Jamie McMurray's back down to ninth. Casey Kane got up, and he went back down to 11th, and that's about it. As much as I want this race to go well for me, I would hate to just do the whole thing not talking and not give you guys something to be occupied by, as far as, you know, me. <sighs> so I'll try to cut it somewhere in between, you know, focus on racing, but also um, talk a little here and there. I really don't think it's possible for me to win at this track in this game because it's so hard to pass 39 cars whenever they love to just knock you clear off the track, not give you room. And if there's so many lines you can't take without getting punted into the wall or knocked on into the grass. But let's go. Let's do this. I'm wearing my Spider-Man jacket because it's the, the you got the eagle in the logo and the eagle on the trophy. I know the eagle trophy because of um, What If Racing's Facebook photo, by the way. I've seen that so many times whenever I pull up Messenger. Oh my god, I'm, I'm driving into the wall trying to avoid hitting you. And I don't know why I didn't just pull out. And that's Carla. something hopefully I'll have to ever say again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I pull out and I'll start 40th place. There ain't no cars behind me or anything. Also, on the outside, I'm just still sitting up here. You can't pass me on the outside. You can barely drive on the outside at this track. And this game. Oh my god, they wrecked into turn two. They wrecked into turn two. And I'm okay. I'm fucking okay. Danica's dead. This is great. Oh my gosh. It's about to not be the big JC. Focus. Danica's dead, and David Hoots doesn't care. I, honestly, I would have thought otherwise. Well, there goes Eric Jones. No, Eric Jones is okay. He saved it. Unlike Danica. Danica things. Still there. All clear. my god, y'all are so fucking pathetic dunces. That didn't even make any sense, but who cares? It's better than what you are. I mean, the, the sentence made more sense than y'all do. Now I gotta catch up to those guys. It's like y'all drive so slow, I step on it because I'm trying to avoid getting run over. Yeah, y'all saw me hit the brakes, so I wouldn't run them over. 
but at the same time gas up so I didn't get run over. And th that's what we get. It's one or the other. I don't know who would handle it better, me getting run over or them. Because whenever they run you over, you're gone. But not as gone as they are when you do. But we're back. God, you see me back off and check up so damn much. We're gonna be three wide into turn one. Not smart, not smart. No, we'll clear them, we'll clear them. Clear all of them. There we go. Don't underestimate the JC. To underestimate the JC, he can't even take turn one without smacking the damn wall. I'm about to. Okay, you, yo, no, Regan Smith, go away. We're up to 21st. No caution yet. I'm surprised. should not be engaging this stupidity. I'm over trying to figure out what he's doing and then I'm like, okay, we'll pass him. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Jeez, that's how you take a corner. Oh boy. Uh, how in the hell did you get onto Stuart Haas, Clint Boyer, after taking a corner like that right in front of him? I, I just don't get it. I mean, then, okay, we're gonna dump Trevor Bain. And now he's dead. Anybody else getting involved? It's lagging, and there's your caution. I gotta take a turn, okay? I'm trying to speed on in there, get clear of the guy next to me, because if I don't get clear of the guy next to me, he's gonna crowd me and ping pong and we all wreck and die. So, better you than me. Vicariously, I live while the whole world dies. Okay. Um, we're gonna pit, because duh. We ain't got no damage, I know we ain't got damage. Get four tires, full tank of fuel, and we're still 17th. But the field is all bunched up again, as if I didn't have enough problems with the passing one car at a time, or two cars at a time. So I gotta pass six cars at a time, probably. God, I hate how good these guys can be at restarts. Such a mess. They come in from the outside and inside. I love to crowd you in. We're not getting crowded on this restart, so that's good. But it won't turn. Here comes Tony. Don't come, Tony. Not yet. Not till wedding night, okay? To, to. Oh boy! I backed out because I didn't want to go three wide into turn two. And then we did. And we almost died, and we didn't. God, my luck in this race. It's the lizard, it's the Geico lizard. I don't know what makes me say that, but I mean, we got some green on this car. A lot of green in Poconos. Come on, we gotta do this. 12 to go. We're not even halfway there. Well, at least there ain't just caution, 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 and more caution laps than green flag laps, like in the first Pocono race. God, I hated that. It was hilarious, but it wasn't what I wanted. I should be passing more cars in this, but the only place I can guarantee safe passes is down the front straightaway off of turn three, into turn three, too. But I just want to hang back and prepare whenever it comes to all the other ones. I would pass here, but Truex, you suck. Well, to be honest, he usually does worse than this. He's fucking 14. That's like 2015 Truex right there. Ugh. Damn thing. Turn. I'm stuck up top. Uh. Okay, we're gonna go for it right here. Nope, 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 nope. You stupid rat bastard, Hamlin. I know y'all do that. Right whenever you say, okay, there's room right here, let's go there. And then they decide that they're going to go ahead and, and crowd you into the wall. And now I have to lose positions because I'm up top of the track and, you know, they want to send it in and, and crush you and... Just please get me out of this cars left and cars right situation. I can't handle being next to cars. Not at this track, not in this game. The way they react to being next to you at this track in particular is just disastrous. Finally, we're passing Truex. And I've been trying to pass Larson for like five laps. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what you said. Go, Larson. Go, Larson. Move your fucking ass, Larson. Gosh. You drive so slow, and you do it in front of me. That is a bad combination. I'm supposed to be driving that car right now. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't know why... Okay, I don't know what the hell that was for. I don't know why Kamikaze Games ever liked Kyle Larson, because... He, he was driving the car that Casey Mears was supposed to be in, in the first place. Uh, we need three laps of fuel. We need three laps of fuel. Which should be half a can. Um, and as far as tires go, you know the AI won't want to take tires. They, they just don't. I gained four spots, so we're on the same strategy as most of these guys. So we're doing what's right. I can drive on more tires. Not to mention, we just cut the race short a bit with that caution caution lapse. Damn car won't go restarts because they ain't got fresh tires. And AI, well, they always have fresh tires. That's why they don't get tires. Durr. Let's not ruin this. Don't crowd me. Don't crowd me. Oh, the apron. I'm trying so hard to make turn one, which I can't do at restarts. The car just doesn't want to do it. Turn one is really tight in this game. Like, you think you're going to do it, and then you don't. God, they're so close together. Holy crap, they're so close together. I'm trying to run his last skip the track just so I can not be near cars throughout turn two. Okay, Logano's checking up, so they'll leave us clear into turn three. I'm really working on this. God, he picked his speed back up somehow. Oh, we're going. We're going to go through turn three. Uh, uh, can't turn. I'm stuck behind Carl Edwards. It's so frustrating. Whenever you got the speed and you got the power down, oh my god, the words just cut off Harvey. <laughs> Thank you, I love that. You gotta, you gotta worry about him in the points. But it's just, it's so frustrating whenever they're driving so damn slow and you're driving so fast and you can't steer any more than you already are, so you just have to drive into them or hit the brakes. No one wants to hit the brakes coming off of the corner whenever they're not too tight or some shit. Ugh. But we're third. We're third. Be patient. Chase Elliott is leading, by the way. What the hell? Okay, we're going. Trying to just keep a decent run, stay ahead of these guys behind us. Here we come on, Kenseth. Stay low. Still there. Oh my god. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to win a Pocono in a NASCAR Heat game. And now, if they don't throw a caution, I just have to drive for four laps. Oh, oh my gosh. Why are we all the way down here? I, I don't even know. See, look, look, there he goes. He's he's keeping it there. Oh, Kurt Busch, Kurt Busch. Giving the push, Kurt Busch. Okay, don't, don't make me take a pit stop and you know, not have enough fuel to get the end of the race, okay? Uh, the car sucks at turn one on restarts. Okay, Kinsley was not a problem. Just rubbed up against him. Trying to clear Kurt Busch. Thanks for the push, Kurt Busch. I don't know what the hell I would have done to restart without it, to be honest. Okay. Can we stop with the cautions and stuff so that I can finish this race? The, the tires are so freaking worn, I don't have a gap on these guys anymore, which is very frustrating. What? Uh, why? Why did I do that? Why did I take the corner like that? Why? It's not over. It's not over. It is not over. It cannot be over. There's no way. No, 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 no. I, I don't have any grip. I, 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 I just, I, I. All clear. Carlo. Awesome. Top five. There are the race results. Kurt Busch won the race. Uh, Matt Kenseth finished second. So that's good points gained again for Matt Kenseth. Austin Dillon and Greg Biffle DNF'd. Uh, finished well ahead of Kevin Harvick and a few spots ahead of Jimmy Johnson. Casey Kane is not consistent. Uh, Ryan Scott sucks. And Braggislowski's keeping it up in the points. Here are the point standings. Uh, we're still fourth. 
14 points behind Kevin Harvick, 15 points behind Brad Keselowski, and I guess 18 points behind Jimmy Johnson. So Kurt Busch won, and that was his second win of the season, actually. I don't even remember where he got his first. Uh, I'll see you guys next time when we go do the Watkins Glen race, the cheese at 355. Race 22 of 36. Maybe we'll win. Maybe not. Who cares? See you next time. That's that. And episode over.